my brother wrote that. Did he? He's a music producer. So oh, nice. Do a shout out to Sue. I like that. I gave him a Facebook shout out, man. Did you see it? You need to do a live shout out. Welcome to another rendition of BCP Viewpoint and Conversation. Yeah, where we are here to inspire you, to inform you, to entertain you, and engage you. We want you young people and you older people to come together and exchange information so we can deal with the substantive aspects of empowering ourselves in the community. Boy, do we have a great show for you tonight. Yes, we do. But before we get started, yes. you know, this is still Women's, Women's History, History Month. Okay. So I have some facts to share with everyone. Survey says... What does it say? Behind every successful man, there's a woman waiting to inherit it all. Oh. <laughs> That's you ain't kind of interesting. You ain't got nothing to worry about. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You ain't, you ain't, what you got to in here? Uh-huh. Okay, all right. Uh -huh. That survey says... What does the survey say? 68% of women say they would have an affair if they knew they could get away with it. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Go I ahead. I don't know what the other say, but that's what 68% say. That's what 68% uh, say. say. So... Now, survey says... What that over 30, so say it go. Uh -huh. Go ahead. We already know what they do. Okay. Survey says. Survey says. Wonder Woman, the film that came out in 2017, mm -hmm. was the first superhero film starring a female lead to be directed by a woman. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now that's right. interesting. That's history. Now that's history. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. In the film game. Right. That's now, this is the reason why okay. women are smarter than men. Okay. Survey says. What does the survey say? Women earn more than 60% of all college degrees in the USA. Hmm, interesting. It's not interesting, I that's never, a fact. I know, but I had never heard that before. Because but you didn't I mean, get a degree. Can, no. Oh, girl. I'm <laughs> Come on, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I know you I'm well endowed and all of that. I have degrees and all kind of stuff. Anyway, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm, now that mm -hmm. you know you women are smarter than us men, <laughs> you know how that's a joke. But okay. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Guess what? Mm -hmm. Now that she's had her fun for Women's History Month, now we're going to go to the real deal. We actually have a woman here today yes, that's actually do. making history. And let me tell you a little bit about her. She was absolutely born to entertain. Her love for the arts began early in life. Her God-given natural ability to command attention shines on stage and backstage. She is known as an actor, a director, an acting coach, casting director, props manager, producer, singer, and speaker. Ah. I no doubt. Currently, she is the resident acting coach for the Actors Academy in Baltimore, an acting group run by my man, I see my mean, that offers classes to actors in the DMV, Maryland, and Virginia area. This versatile performer has been acting for over 30 years, even though she doesn't look like it. No, she she not. has been acting for over 30 years. Now, she made her debut at the famous Arena Players. March 2016 in the stage play Witness for the Prosecution. She has graced the stage with an understudy for Shirley Murdoch and the Entre the Atra Hicks in Crystal L. Bass. Ain't no love like a mother's love. Now, she thanks God for allowing her to draw people to Christ through drama. Mm -hmm. She would also like to thank Roosevelt Jackson of Roosevelt Entertainment for casting her in her very first feature film, which has now grown into being featured in the last six independent films, like Life According to Rashida 1 and 2, Residue uh -uh. 1 and Residue 2, Dangers of Entrapment, A Conscious Battle, and No More Bully Zone. She also wants to thank Ursula Battle, Battle Stage Plays, for allowing her to act in several plays and co-direct two stage plays, Seven Days, and A Christmas Miracle. Her sharp acting and networking skills have also taken her into the world of casting. Welcome. 
where she is the CEO of her own casting company, Tammy Rogers Casting. LLC. She has worked for so many directors in the DMV to the point where she has quickly really made a name for herself. And after working with her acting coach, which also happens to be one of my acting coaches, um, <laughs> Stephen Mitchell of Center Paris Productions, she has starred in her own one-woman show, The oh, Interlooper. Wow. It's now available on Amazon Prime and has been featured in several other films written by him, including her upcoming sitcom, Axe, Aunt Lolly. Now, her theater acting credits are too many to be yes. named here, but I'm going to throw a few at you right quick. <laughs> like, Bro. why me? The Bro. Mystery at Motown, A Good Black Man, Slaves to Sin, The Teacher's Lounge, Discord in the Choir, Happiness for Survival, of course, Witness for the Prosecution, Wounded Ain't No Love Like a Mother's Love. <laughs> this evening, we want to welcome the incomparable Dr. Tammy Rogers. Woo! Hello, wow, everybody. That was long. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome you. I am so happy to be here with you guys. <laughs> yes, we are happy yes. to have you. I've been yes, waiting for are. this moment because we got so much to talk to you about. Oh, about my goodness. Weeks. Yes, we've been waiting for this. <laughs> so, Miss Rogers, yes. tell us why you are in this game. Why am I in this game? Yeah. Hmm. That's a good question. I know. Sometimes I have to ask myself, why am I doing this? <laughs> Every actress asks themselves that. Yes. I'm like, because if you're a person that, you know, doesn't like rejection, I mean, not that people like it, but I mean, mm, I a lot of people can't take it. Mm. But if you're a person that really, really, um, rejection really, really bothers you, this is not, not the field well, for you. True. That is so true. <laughs> so, um,. I'm going to say, I, I, like you said in my bio, I was born to do this. Okay. So really, I didn't have a choice. Okay. But um, I went to my first stage play. I was three years old. Mm. I, was, I was so little, I had to sit on my mother's lap, you know. And um, so I, I blame her for <laughs> all of this drama up in here. Okay. <laughs> I blame her. Um, so once I was watching it because we call ourselves play connoisseurs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so once I started watching the plays I started to love them and I was loving them more than I was, loved the movies and I loved plays and I loved the movies so then I said hmm, I'm a, I'm gonna always be a movie lover I'm gonna always be a, a theater lover so one day I was in a modeling troupe mm -hmm. and the guy wrote a play now, I, even though I go to plays, I never thought about being in one myself. Okay, okay. So he came and said, I'll tell you, I got a part for you. Um, I wrote this play. And I was like, <laughs> me? How old you? were you? I was, I had just turned 20. Oh, wow. And so I said, me? Because I couldn't see myself on the other side. I, I could see me sitting and watching and being entertained. But you want me to entertain? Because I grew up singing on choirs mm -hmm. and, you know, when I, you know, go to, you know, when I went to church. Because I didn't grow up in church. Okay. I, I got saved later on. <laughs> God chose me later on. Because <laughs> I know a lot of people who grew up in church, but that was not my testimony. So, um, I said, okay, uh, I'll try it. I was like, hey, look, all I got to do is read the script and just get up there and do it, right? So, I did that. And we did that play like twice, you know, okay, it, it okay. Was, went over real big, so you do it again. And so then I didn't think about it anymore. Maybe I, maybe about six months went by, and then somebody else asked me to be in a play, and I was like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? <laughs> maybe I'm supposed to be doing this because it's like the acting book just bit me. Mm. So I was like, oh, okay, I got something, got a nice little hobby now, so we can do this, let's do this little hobby. <laughs> So I started doing it, and the more I did it, the more I loved it. Then I started looking at um, honing the craft and mm -hmm. taking classes and being the best at it that I could be. And I was like, well, this is going to be my second career. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I retire, this is going to be my second career. Uh -huh. So I'm finally coming up on retirement, y'all. <laughs> Seeing them very soon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, good. Now I got something else that I can do that I love. 
and just really just be the best at it and just spend all of my time doing it instead of just trying to do it part time. Mm-hmm. So that's really what just drew me. Okay. It, it okay. just drew me. So. so now that you've been successful in being in such marvelous films, like <laughs> Rosebell Entertainment, one thing I like about Rosebell's projects, they mm-hmm. always seem to be quality entertaining yes. projects. Yes. And he always seems to cast really good people. Yes, yes. You know, and I give Rosebell a shout out to you, Rose. Shout out, um, shout out. And one of the things that I've noticed is how much you just shine in a project. <laughs> Oh, and I mean, so this sweet. is coming from an actor who, you know. Yeah, because you done done something. Just a little bit. But <laughs> the thing is that when I watch, and see, I'm real, I'm like this all the time. A lot mm-hmm. of people don't know. I believe that if I can authentically say mm-hmm. that you shine in a project, mm-hmm. then I want to say it. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes when we in this game, we don't get that enough from That's the people true. who do what we do. That's right. I think that's because there's so much competition. Yeah, but that's a whole different universe too thing. big to be that yeah. small. I know, exactly. I know. But exactly. people don't have that. It's that's a mental thing. Mm-hmm. I know. You gotta have know. that mentality. That because that's the mentality I have. I'm like, right. we it's, can all go up together. And see, that's what I, for me personally, that's what I've known about you since I met you, <laughs> and I felt that from you, and that's why I feel totally comfortable in saying. Mm-hmm. Everything that you have done and mm-hmm. the things that are coming is going to come as a direct result of your caring for other people. Because oh, the fact that you you amen. do this and you want to teach other people, other people how to do it as well, yes. that speaks volumes wow. to right. me. All right. That's wonderful. You know, and that just speaks volumes to me. Mm-hmm. So all of y'all that's listening that have an opportunity to meet this lady tonight, if you have projects mm-hmm. and you have actors that need a little coaching, mm-hmm. reach out to her. And this is coming from an acting coach myself. <laughs> but I yes. would say it's enough for all, all of, us. of us. And the yes. thing about the acting, now I don't know if you agree, but I'm going to see, is as it relates to the craft. Mm-hmm. And there are thousands and thousands of teachers. Yes. And there are techniques that are the premier techniques that people are familiar with. Yeah. But see, we have a new thing going on now because mm-hmm. the ex- expansion of the various platforms, yes. which gives us actors more, more. opportunities. Yes. So that means we can bring more of our personal experience. And I love Meisner and, yes. and all yes. of this, and yeah. Stanislavski, Adler. all of that, uh-huh. Adler. But we in a new era now. Yes. So we take what we've gotten from them. Because yeah. for me, and I'd have had some phenomenal teachers, mm-hmm. right? Pilata, Mitchell, yeah, yep. Vera Katz, yeah, Howard University, yeah. um, Samuel Jackson, and Kevin Spacey. But the thing is, yes. is that we bring something unique from our personal life experience exactly. that brings authenticity to a character. And you just said the operative word that I always tell all of my students, authenticity. Can I believe the words that are coming out of your mouth? Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Can I believe that you are that grieving mother? Uh Can I believe that you are that basketball star? Uh Can I believe that you are that broke down father trying to get a relationship with your son? Uh Can I believe that Uh in your acting? Exactly. I know the one thing I hate to hear them say, but that's not me. (laughs) <laughs> he had all the time. Oh, he had all the time. It's not supposed to be you. It's not supposed to be you. Exactly. exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. Obviously, you don't want to be an actor. Mm. I said because an actor is somebody else. Yes. Exactly. And you find that mm-hmm. piece. Mm-hmm. Yes. So one of my favorite films is what? the one that you did the stage play. What? Witness for the prosecution. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's that was a favorite. Oh my god. Oh, so what role did you play? The maid. No. <laughs> I had the accent and everything. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Did you? <laughs> yes. Wow. I played the ladies, made the lady who was murdered. I played her yes. maid. You yes, know, anybody did. knows about it? Uh, the, the famous film. It's with Charles Lawton, yes, mm-hmm. Tyrone Power, yes, and Marlena Dietrich, yes. uh, who played a dual <laughs> role. Mm-hmm. And of course, it had a twist, yes. at the end, and twist. Uh, it was a twist at the mm-hmm. end. And uh, it was a very good, very good movie. Uh, and yes, so, it was. 
Um, so you played the maid. Yeah. See, what happened was I, I would go to their and it's place. Cockney, so you had to do the English. Yes, yeah, exactly. So that's why I want everybody to know it wasn't a United <laughs> States film. It was all about the English The folks. English people. That's right. Cockney. I had to get that accent down. But I, I would go to the arena players because I had a lot of friends who were in the plays. Mm -hmm. And so the guy who was doing the play, Randy, um, Mr. Randy kept saying, Tell me when you going to do a play down here. And I was like, oh, I ain't got time to do no play down here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll be busy. I'll be busy. So finally, he, was, he finally came to me and he asked me, he said, okay, I got the perfect part for you. And I'm thinking like, yeah, right. I'm like, what What you got? <laughs> what you got? You know you was interested. Exactly. I'm like, what you got? Uh, he was like, well, we're we going to do the witness for the prosecution. I was like, what? I was like, I grew up watching that movie. My mother yes. loved that movie. Yes. I, that's one of her favorite movies. So, of yes. course, you know, growing up, whenever we would watch it, you know, like I said, we watch movies, we watch mm -hmm. theater, everything. So I said, what part? <laughs> yeah, because it's an English film. Yeah. Exactly. He was like, you remember the maid? I was like, oh, yes. I was like, yes. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. <laughs> that quickly changed from I was, what yep, you got yep, for what me. what you got for me. Exactly. Well, how did you train yourself to do Cockney? Okay. I went and I, because a lot of people don't do this. Because mm -hmm. um, they're like, oh, I want to come up with the character myself. I don't want to oh, no. look like I'm copying anybody, blah, blah, blah. I went and I studied that movie and yes. I studied that maid and mm -hmm. I just her mannerisms how she couldn't stand the guy and everything mm -hmm. and I, I just I was like I'm getting this I'm getting this so like maybe about six weeks before the show no maybe about, about a month out um, whenever we would rehearse it they just kept rehearsing it and rehearsing it. I was like y'all gonna wear me out before the show get here um, I know y'all like that part I'm like, but can we rehearse something that needs some, you know, work? <laughs> so, but I, I just knew I, I was flattered because I was like, they, I, they loved it. So mm -hmm. they, that's why they always wanted to do it. Okay, let's start with her part. Yep, I'm like, yep, can we start yep. after my part? <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty long play. <laughs> they were impressed with your work. Yes, yes, yeah. and, and I loved wonderful. it. And you said something that um, <clears throat> uh, Samuel Jackson speaks about when he talks about when you develop a character. Mm -hmm. If there is source material, yes. Like, rev if it's from a book, book or a famous film, yes. Then go back and watch, watch that. It. Thank you. And of if course. it's from a book, go read it because read that it. gives you a, a, a understanding of because writers have a tendency to tell you what the character is thinking and yes. what's motivating the exactly. Character. And it's the same thing when you had the opportunity to watch the film because mm -hmm. you can see for yourself what's yes. driving some of the exactly. action. Exactly. See, and that was a, exactly. that's called what we call what we call modeling. Exactly. Because you, 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 that way you have a base copying, to start from. You modeling. have a base to start right. from. And it's like then you can develop it into what you know see, that's you why I feel. Love so uh so now you've done films tell mm -hmm. tell the audience because a lot of them don't understand this now. okay mm -hmm. there's a difference between stage acting and, and film, film acting. acting so tell them the interest because sees about the difference okay Okay, for which one you want me to start with? Wherever you, Wherever want, you want to start. Okay, I would say for film, you can always say cut, let's do that again. <laughs> um, you messed that up, you forgot your line, blah, 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 blah. But for theater, it is right there, raw, right on stage. So whatever you put up on stage is going to be on stage. Mm -hmm. And another thing, with theater, you have that immediate audience yeah. gratification because mm -hmm. they gonna let you know whether it was funny whether it was you know um what's the word i'm looking for um whether it was emotional mm -hmm. whether they felt it mm -hmm. they're gonna let you know right away mm -hmm. so you get that immediate energy mm -hmm. and they can surprise you too. <laughs> yeah because what you thought was funny they didn't catch and it what you <laughs> thought was serious they, they thought it was funny <laughs> always said over and over again that theater is a great training ground for yes. actors, period. Wonderful. Um, and Wonderful so, um, we, we come across a lot of um, 
as you know, in casting, I don't know if you've had this experience, I know I've had it in my casting experience. If you put out a casting call for theater, uh -huh. um, I get them, uh -huh. but if I put it out for film, oh, this is the song. Uh -huh. um, the, um, you want to know why I think that? Yeah. Because a lot of people who think they're actors, uh. <laughs> they think, oh, I can get up and just, like I thought when I first started, oh, I can get up and just, oh, just it should be easy. Just read the lines, you know? <laughs> All I got to do is say what this says, say right here. Uh. And so a lot of them think, oh, that's easy. So I'm like, come on, girl, let's go on to this casting call. <laughs> But they don't realize because the actors it's that they see that. every day make it look, look make easy. it look easy right. because yes. they studied to get that way. Yes. Yes. Because yes. Meryl Streep did uh, over forty plays mm. before she went to Hollywood. Oh my goodness! Uh, Daniel Day Lewis. I mean, all of the, the what I refer ones. to as the yeah. great ones had a, a vast experience in Al Pacino. theater. Al yes. De Niro. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And that gives you the capacity to. Do film acting, and it's easier for you because you can get to that place of because you've had that experience of the synergy of yes. being an ensemble cast. You understand how to listen, respond, react, etc., exactly. and you know how to over time develop a character quickly. Yes, given that scene and that moment. Moment. Yes. See, see that's the what moment. People, yes. yes, people don't understand mm -hmm. film. It's moments. Mm -hmm. The camera captures moments. Exactly. So what can you bring to that character in that moment, moment yes. that would make me believe that that is, you know, that, that, that that's you, that that's, it makes it believable. And it's much easier for you to do if you have had the theatrical experience of developing characters over time. Exactly. You know, because I did seven, seven years before I even ever thought about getting in front of a camera. Really? And that's well, oh, it made it so it. much easier. <laughs> I just because all I, I had to know. learn was the technique of being in front of the camera and mm -hmm. reducing a performance, performance and understanding that it was about here. Yes, you because know, camera is whole, up close, right. where you know plays are you know theater is just wide Make and wide open. You got that fourth wall also, and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I also believe that. Um, the commitment to theater is yes. not always there. Mm -hmm. That's you know, true. There, there's a commitment. There's a six week, yes. eight weeks, yes. you know, time. And, yes. And uh, younger ones <clears throat> yes. don't want to put in that time, time. for several reasons. Mm -hmm. you know. That's because they want to be a star. Not, especially if they're not full <laughs> time actors <laughs> as well. Right. But in film, they want to be a star. They, you know, oh, I don't have to go but one or two times and I can. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. You know, they don't realize. But the amazing know. thing that they come to the realization very quickly <laughs> is yes. that when you work with great yes. directors, yes, and particularly people who have not only directed their project, but they wrote it, particularly in the independent space, you get a lot of that. Awesome. Right? Yes. So they wrote it. They know mm. what they're looking for. Exactly. They happen to know how to work the camera, camera as well. well. <laughs> if you don't give them what they want, I've seen people be like, you go over and go over. Because that's how I started uh, coaching on set. Because oh. I was in a couple of projects and the people couldn't get it because they were new actors. Exactly. So I started coaching them up in the moment, yeah. which I got from John Pilato. Exactly. Right? Ballistics exactly. and emotional triggering. Yep. Right? Been there. And that took them to what he needed in that moment. moment. Right? Yep. But they still came to the realization because they watched me do a monologue and say, man, how you remember all, all that? that and thing. have the layers of emotion and all yeah, that. So yeah. it comes all of that. Practice. practice. Years of practice. practice. Right? So it ain't like you just get <laughs> you. They know you. They put you in the film because mm -hmm. you have the look they're looking for. Mm -hmm. But they still need the performance. Exactly. You know, it's more so, than the look. Yes. Always so much more. more. Yeah. Pretend Dr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> so we know about all that about your background. Tell me something about you that has nothing to do about the entertainment world. That you want to share that with That I want to share. That you want to share. <laughs> I, I want the secrets. Oh, she said the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> That's a woman thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> I grew up an only child. You too? Yeah. Oh, wow. And, of course, I'm spoiled, as they say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, but I know how to share, though. Okay. Okay. I did. I had to learn. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had to learn how to share. Learn that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I had to learn how to share. Mama but, love you. Yeah, I've learned how to share. So now I have like adopted sisters and mm-hmm. brothers and stuff like that. Wonderful. And so I'm um, what else? What else? Um, I just um, like I said, I grew up singing mm-hmm. a lot. Okay. So I always thought that I was going to be on choirs and mm-hmm. you know, like uh, you know. Um, that's called Walker Choir. And all right. that. so I, that's, okay. that's where I was okay. looking to go, that I thought I was going to go. Welcome to the club. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I remember I got a chance. I was um, working in Italy. My job had sent me to Italy. Okay, and good job. Good job. Oh, I worked... I work for the government. I okay, yeah, that's all you have to say. Because I work, I work for I the feds. Y'all, you know, if I tell y'all, I gotta kill y'all. Oh, that's right. So I can't share too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I work for the government. The next double on nine, <laughs> y'all and Tammy Rod. And um, they sent me to Italy to work. So I was in this like tunnel kind of place, <laughs> and I saw somebody put up on the wall that you know Hezekiah Walker was coming to the, like a near nearby church. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm off that weekend. Let me go. So I go and I meet him. And, you know, he's he's having a workshop, you know, okay. teaching us his songs. And I'm just loving it. I'm just loving all of it. And then he comes to me at the end and he's like, um, here's you know, my, my number. I want you to call me. I was like, uh-uh. Because I'm not going to New York. <laughs> and I'm not going to sing on your choir. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I said, and you're going to make me want to do that. <laughs> so I'm not going to call you. So I'll never forget, maybe a year went by, and then he brought his choir here. Somebody, okay. Either a church or something right. had them come and perform. So at the end of the the performance, I went up to him, and he was like, didn't I tell you to call me? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, didn't I tell you I wasn't? <laughs> so that was that was a good, great experience. Um, I'm trying to think of different things. Just um, And don't forget, one time I was at... Um, What's the, in D.C., that, that big place in D.C.? Um, church? Uh, no, it's not a church. It's a um, theater. D.C. Armory. Um, that one. Okay, you said big. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's big. They always um, have play, plays there, not Warner. Um, Constitution Hall. Yeah, no, not that. I thought you were going to well, come with it. Look, I thought you were going to come with it. <laughs> but anyway, the big thing. But anyway, mm-hmm. it'll come to me. You know, I'm getting older, y'all. Senior moment. Um, and I was there, um, I went with my mother cause she wanted to see Johnny Mathis. Okay. So I'm standing in, man, yeah, man, I'm yeah. standing in the line in the ladies room and I turn around and I turn back <laughs> and I turn around again and I turn back. I said, that looked like Anita Baker. No. <laughs> yes. This was years ago. This is when she was hot too. Yeah. And I was like, I think that is. <laughs> And she's in line with you. Yeah, she's in the line for the ladies room, you know. So she, but she's behind me, mm-hmm. and I'm looking like I'm like, okay, what can I do? Because I'm at to seize this moment and say something to her. Yeah, he is something. You know, you know. Let me say something to her. So I, so I turned. I said, um, excuse me, uh, are you who I think you are? <laughs> she looks at me. She said, Who do you think, think I, I am? am? Right. <laughs> And I was like, hello, Miss Baker, how are you? <laughs> now, why didn't you say, do you want to skip? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Yeah, you <laughs> had to go. Yeah, I don't know what I was kind of long, and I had to go. <laughs> oh, but that's just a couple of things just, you know, have happened to me in my well, life. Let me ask you this question. I always like to ask people this question. Mm-hmm. Where you are now, mm-hmm. and if you look back, say... I'm just say five years, right? Okay, five years. To what was going on with you five years ago. Mm-hmm. If you could speak to yourself then, from the from the perspective of where you are now, what would you tell yourself? Don't do it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, what, let's see, five years ago, what, 2015 time frame. Mm-hmm. Um... No, I would have branched out. I, I would have branched out in film a lot sooner. Okay. Cause I'm gonna tell you what I did. Y'all, y'all ever had like God speak something yeah. in your spirit, mm-hmm. so you you already know what's gonna happen, mm-hmm. but you don't know when, right? Right. And you don't know how, right. but you just know you He feel, said. You know, <laughs> you know He told you. I was, I was, I I love Internet Movie Database. 
Love it. Love it. When I discovered that thing, that just changed IMDb, my life. Baby. Now I'm like, I ain't got to argue with nobody. We're going to go to IMDb. We're going to see. We're going to see you right. <laughs> so I kept saying, I would love to have a page. And I, I said, one day I'm going to have a page. Of course you And then God spoke to me and said, oh, yeah, you're going to have a page. So I was like, ooh, ooh, when? Like when? So I didn't know when. So I went and I purchased the page. Mm-hmm. Oh, before and you I had the page for two years, before y'all. You had on before it. I had any credit wow. at all. all right, wow. That's all right. right. But I knew you I, It's you like know. I knew that's what he told me mm-hmm. that I was gonna, right. I was gonna have my own IMDb page, mm-hmm. and so it was like, okay, well, I, don't, I didn't even know how to even get credit. I feel. I didn't you. even know. Anything about Most that, because right? I mostly don't. did plays. Yep. So I hadn't even branched, because I've only been doing film maybe about seven years, maybe oh, about okay. seven years. Okay. So my whole 30-something years, it's been on stage. Right. Gotcha. So I was like, but I just knew, I was like, I want an IMDB page. Yeah, I'm going to get one. Then when God said, yeah, I got, I, got, I got one for you, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, when, though? When? <laughs> when? But then I was like. Even if you get it, how you, well, how you get the credits on it? So I said, I don't care. I'm going to get it. And I had it for two years before I had one credit. Wow. That's and guess vision. what my first credit was? What? what? The movie with you. Kazar. Coleman. It's fire on my face. There you go. <laughs> that was my first movie credit, y'all. Wow. <laughs> I said, oh my goodness. So that was just like, that just blew so my mind. So you tell yourself to get moved towards film yeah, sooner. Yeah, I would have done film a lot sooner because I, I don't know if I was kind of afraid of it or just felt like, well, maybe that's not my lane. I don't know what it was, mm-hmm. but I just loved theater and I just did theater yeah. so long that it just... Well, theater actually, yeah. like, you know, it can remain your first love. Exactly. And you just really expand. For, I know for me personally, mm-hmm. I must admit, I love being in projects and film projects, mm-hmm. but theater is my first love. And yeah. it's like, when I get an opportunity to do something do in theater, mm-hmm. which, you know, from a producing standpoint, I'm creating my own opportunity. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But the thing is, I love it. Yes. I look Nothing forward, like I look yes. forward to those weeks and weeks of, mm. um, Rehearsals. Yeah. I look forward. That part, I, I don't know about that part. Either. Well, I look forward to it. I don't from look this forward to all them weeks of I work. love the creative. <laughs> I love the creative process. I got you. I got you. And I love that that observing actors get it. Yeah. Oh, I love the aha moments. Oh, yes. Oh, oh I love you know, those. I love those. When you step on stage. Oh. Yes. And the light hits and you. The light hit you. And then you do your character. Oh. That's when. This is where I was supposed to be. So yes. he asked you what you had done five years ago. Okay. So where are you going to be five years from, from now? Well, uh, how do you see yourself? How do I see myself? Dr. Rogers. Dr. Rogers. Let me think. Um, five years from now, I could see me um, producing more um, movies. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've, I've, I'm, I'm down. I, I have a producer credit, executive producer credit um, for uh, Shock Nation, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. is a web series. Yeah. Um, I have a couple of movies. Isn't that with, Kimia? Yeah, Kimia. Yeah, Kimia, Kimia, Kimia Workman. Yeah. Love yes. me some Kimia yes. Workman. That's Kimia. Black. <laughs> what a challenge. And, um, so. so I'm executive producer on that. And um, I've been... Me and my mom have been executive producers on Roosevelt, some of mm-hmm. Roosevelt's mm-hmm. films. Um, um, so I'm one of the. was in the game with you. Just a little bit. Like, like, just a little bit. She knows, like, you know what executive say, producers do. Yeah, look, so she, they exactly. put up a little something. something. Cause, cause she'll say, she'll say like, um, well, I can't sing and I can't act, but, you know, I can fund. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we say, and, and we can we accept that. Exactly. Exactly. And I said, and I'll we'll accept you your funding. Same. And we really appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> but we will accept yep, but, I said, but I will accept your funding. Shout out to Thelma Rogers. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> um, so I want to be doing more of that, more of an investor type, because um, I'm one of the investors on Edwin's movie that's coming mm-hmm. out, Life Goes On. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I just, I, I love that. I just love bringing the arts to life. And you it's know, just, that's, that seems uh, to be a natural yes, progression. progression. <laughs> that's the natural progression. Yes. And that's when you're really serious about this. Yes. That is the natural progression. Yeah, when you put your money where when your you, mouth when is. You put your oh, money where your mouth is. Yes. Yes. I know about that. I know about that. And yes. still. <laughs> I don't know about that. So, yes. casting director. Casting director. What yes, made you start doing casting? I fell into that. I know what you mean. I fell into that, y'all, because I'm going to tell you. Because what happened is I would be on set, and I'm, you know, and then, like you said, you see somebody struggling with the character, and I'm like, oh, all you got to do is go on. Mm. Let me go over here and talk to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then when she come back and got the aha moment, it's mm -hmm. like, ah, oh, yeah. What did you tell her? Uh, yep. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know. I am just was trying to get her there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just trying to get her there. That's all. And um, I forgot. Everybody doesn't have that. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I, so, when I started doing that, then they would say, "Oh, Tim, you got a, you happen to know somebody? I need a, a girl, eighteen to twenty. I need a girl, to, you know, such such age, look like this, or you know, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever." I'm like, "Okay, man, let me make a phone call. Be right back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call. So, so, um, are you available? Are you working on anything right now? Uh -huh. I'm gonna need you to be at such 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 such. Here's the address. Uh -huh. uh, okay, I got you. She'll be here <laughs> in a minute. So that's how I fell into it. Cause so I, everywhere I went on. Every set, I was, it somebody was like, you. "Can you um find me somebody?" So and so, and so when at that time I was doing movies for Roosevelt. Okay. So he was like, "Oh, I want to come to Baltimore," and I was like, "Cause you know he's like DC based." Mm -hmm, I know. And I said, "Well, if you want to come to Baltimore, we gonna have to get some more um mm. people up in, in this movie then from mm -hmm. Baltimore." From Baltimore, right? Because <laughs> I was like, "You can't come to Baltimore with a whole bunch of it DC actors, baby." Have, right? I I'll tell you that now. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he was like, okay, well, let's bring it to Baltimore. Uh, you cast it, and we'll go from there. Yeah. See, that's and so, and so that's how I ended up falling mm -hmm. into the, the job of being his casting director. Mm -hmm. And I was, and so I just fell into it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love I love it. Too. That's because y'all care. Yeah, and, yes. I love, and I love running the auditions. Yeah, yeah. I got I an audition coming up with Edwin and Jay Sykes. Oh, what up, y'all? There you go. Oh, um, yeah, April fifth. April fifth. I, I heard they might have a part for. Oh, here we go. Oh, here yeah. we go. You know, that's the only thing that I, I didn't hear. I didn't care what you. Oh, you didn't. Okay, well, so I will make sure you I don't get. Mean, I will make sure you get, get the about flyer. Belinda, you know, Jocelyn or whatever. I will make sure I give you the flyer. Okay. Some heads and shots. And oh, some Jesus. Some, 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 you know, some reels. Some, 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 some. Look, anyway, y'all, they got a movie coming out <laughs> called <laughs> We the People. Yes. yes. <laughs> and so we having a casting call on April 5th. That's a Sunday coming up. Um, if you send your I resume <laughs> and your headshot to WTP, the movie, at gmail.com. You can go ahead and send it now. You only have to wait till the fifth. They'll already have it. So go on and do that. Movie yep. We the people, the movie. Oh, Shanetta and Paul on. Hey, so, folks, how y'all doing? You know, remember fam? Derek told us about that. Mm -hmm. WTP mm -hmm. the movie, movie. At, at, at gmail dot <laughs> Don't leave that exactly. Gmail. Oh, That's why. Don't listen to him. Don't, li <laughs> Don't listen to him. Don't leave that. I make mistakes on my own show. Dot com out. Hey, but shout out, look, shout out to my me familiar uh, family, and girl. They will, and they will be on the show shortly. Yeah, yeah. Jay Sykes and Edwin, Maker. They, they call him, yeah, they, yeah. a lot of people because he has his page, Playmaker. Yeah. So it's yeah. Edwin Maker Jr. Yeah. So they'll be on the show soon, you guys. Dr. Rogers. Yes. Please give some word of wisdom to wisdom. us all. Okay. Yes. Wisdom. And look right there. You know, that comes with age, you guys. <laughs> no, but some people are, you know, really wise and really young, so I can't really say that. Um, if you want to succeed in this business, Keyword. even though it's a lot of competition, you know, because you're, you're, you know, you're, you're competing for parts and you're competing for roles and things like that, but it still can be fun. You still can um, work together, learn from each other, and go up together. So don't have that 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 um, 
backbiting kind of spirit, nasty kind of spirit. Um, share your knowledge. Share what you know. Because I, I, was, I was told one time from, well, all the time. I ain't even going to say one time. Okay. But I was told all the time that you're one person away from your blessing. Mm-hmm. And I shout out to my, my pastors um, from Perfecting Prayer and Praise Ministries. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pastor Randy Spann and co-pastor Grace Spann. Um, they always taught me that you're one person away from your blessing. So be nice. Mm-hmm. Help people. I mean, that's what God put you here to do. Mm-hmm. And I, I trust me, if you be nice to people, I mean, even though people are going to do you wrong, you already know that. We're not we're not sitting here with rose colored glasses on, y'all. Not immune to that. <laughs> exactly. You're going you know, there are people that always think they slick. I always think they're gonna get over on you. So don't even worry about them. God will take care of those. But if I, I just learned that if you really, really give of yourself in this business, mm-hmm. it can be such a pleasant experience. You'll meet so many people who are like, you are a breath of fresh air. Because they are so used to so many phony people. And lying people and stuff like that, you know. So just, just, just help people. It's, it's nothing wrong with helping somebody else, because you never know when they can return the favor, yes. and that might get you to your blessing. Because they'll remember when you help them. Yes. Most so, assuredly, yes. Yeah. One of the so things John Pilata said to me years ago, <clears throat> and this was when I probably I had been acting for quite a while, but I had only been in film acting mm-hmm. maybe a year or so. And we was having a conversation. He said these words to me, which the light bulb just went off. Mm-hmm. Look around you in a class that you're in. The same people who are in this class with you in the future will be the people who will cast, cast you for you. things. Or <laughs> you will that. be casting them. Yep, I remember you'll that. Be referred to projects and yep. things happen. And that comes Absolutely. from treating people well. Because like we say well. at Black Carpet Productions... It where mindset and talent create unlimited possibilities yes. and your blessing is always in direct relationship to how many people you're willing to help or serve in yes. some positive way. So with that being said, we just fell down. We had a great show, didn't we? Oh. We had a great guest. Dr. Oh, Tammy Rogers, you, you were absolutely marvelous. Thank you. And I'm going to say this in front of everybody. I'm going to have to have you on my podcast. Okay. The current so we can have another oh, level of conversation. I would love to. I would love to. Oh, let me say real quick. Go. Um, Rosalind Gaines has a new series coming out that we're doing called Black Oaks. Yes. So look out for that. That's going to be yes. on TV, you guys. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and I have um. The and key, she's the, in it. She's in it. Yeah. She's oh in yeah, it. I'm in it. And I'm trying to get in. <laughs> He's trying to get in. <laughs> and then um, I have a, a sitcom for Stephen Mitchell that I do called Ask Aunt Lolly. So that'll be coming out soon. Right now we're gonna film the second episode. And um, and then I have two movies coming out with Edwin and um and Jay Sykes. So. Right on. Now yeah, you, I hope you got all that. Hope Did you, you got talk about one thing? You didn't tell them how to contact you. Oh, you can contact me on Facebook. I am Tammy Rogers, T A M M I R O G E R S. On um, Instagram, I am actor Tammy Rogers, and I, I think that's. Oh yeah, and I'm on um. What's the other one? LinkedIn. Well, LinkedIn. LinkedIn okay. I'm Tammy Rogers, T A M M I R O G E R S. All right, fantastic. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we want to say peace, good night, peace. enjoy. And see you next time on BCP Viewpoint and Conversation. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Love you guys. Great show. Yes. Thank yes. you. You're welcome, That's darling. That's what I'm talking about. Excuse me, young lady. Thank you, you guys, for watching. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, thank you.